Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, man. Today we're watching Andrew Tate. We're gonna be reacting to what he says about God, man. So if you don't know, man, subscribe to my channel because I'm a God, man. I'm the best, if not one of the best YouTubers on the planet. So without further ado, make sure you hit the subscribe button and um, let's have a listen, boys. So don't don't be that guy, bro. But then I, I want to bring up uh, Jordan Peterson said, said something that I really resonate with. He was saying that he, That's Nico, eh? he struggles believing in God. And I was the same way as you, Andrew. I, I was an atheist for a long time. I grew up in the church, yeah. and then I rejected it for a long time. I didn't believe in God. Me too, man. I grew up in a church, but I still believe that there's a God. You know what I'm saying? But these days, I'm more into like spirituality. You know what I'm saying, my guy? So that's, that's my belief system right now. I'm more into spirituality. I do believe in God as well, man. So let's have a listen. And I think I found God from seeing all the evil that runs the world. Oh, absolutely. Seeing the demonic and satanic rituals that they do, that must mean in the inverse that God exists. Completely. Jordan Peterson said that it's best for him to encourage his followers to follow God. Yes, that's especially true, especially for the guys in Hollywood, my guy. You know, like the stuff they have to do to get in those positions, man. They have to do like those satanic rituals which they're talking about, man. I agree with them 100%. It's the best way society functions. So I am saying, I always tell my stream to follow God. I praise Christianity, praise Islam, praise Judaism, because it's good. But I still struggle with the belief that God is the Father. How much do you really talk about God because you believe in it? And how much do you talk about it because it's the best thing for the 50,000 people watching to follow? That's a good question, but I, I absolutely not really believe. But I think that the way I view God is slightly different than a lot of people perhaps think of God. I don't see it. It's not a matter of reading the book and thinking there's a guy in the sky who's watching over you. I think that you can see God as an idea. Jordan Peterson's trying to tell his followers to believe in God because he likes the idea of the collective consciousness behaving in a certain manner. And I think that when that happens, God within itself exists. If you have a hundred people in a room and they all do good things in the name of God, well then God's real, right? Because God's making a hundred people act good and righteous. So you can't say God's not a real force. I don't know about that, man, but I do believe that God exists like an actual God. You know what I'm saying? Not just like God does exist, my guy. That's what I'm saying. Whether you want to call a person, a force, an idea, an inclination, whatever it is, God becomes a real thing. I know that if you act in a in a certain way, if you act in a godly way, the world is a better place. If by extension, God must exist. If you act in an evil way, then the devil must exist. Like you said, all the, 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 the demonic, dangerous things they're doing in the world today, does that mean there's a man underneath the ground covered in fire who's making them do it? That's Lucifer. That's what he just said. Like, there's a man underground under the fire. That's like the Christian, um, that's how the Christians are conditioned, you know, they're told that the devil is under the ground and yes, in hell, pretty much. That's what he's saying, my guy, and I agree with that. Or does that mean that their collective consciousness pointed in a negative direction makes the idea of the devil itself a real thing? So I know that the, it's, it's more about the collective consciousnesses. You know what I'm saying? It's about having uh, all the people in the world looking in themselves in the mirror and saying, that's ungodly, I will not act that way. And, and that's why you can look at countries like the ones that Myron was saying to move to, the Middle East, where the fucking, they're, they're so ridiculous. You can walk the street in Qatar with $10 million in cash. Nothing's going to happen to you. Is it because of the police or is it because of God? Yeah, okay, there is a ser there is serious punishment. But there's certainly not armed cops in every corner like there are in New York. There's certainly not CCTV in every corner like there is in London. There's certainly not any of the, the crime-fighting uh, apparatus that there is in the West. It's because people think that God wouldn't let me do that. So and society functions that way. So yeah, I absolutely and utterly believe in God as an idea as a whole, and I think that's the, the most important thing. And I, uh, I used to be an atheist, yes, but I also I feel kind of uncomfortable around atheists. And also another thing about atheism that's that that certainly put me off. Yeah, yeah, me too. Uh, I agree with that, bro. It's all the people who champion it. Look at all the people who are championing atheism. Gross. Find one. And just look, I don't want to be you. And that, I've always said I would never adopt the thinking of someone who is sad. When I see somebody who is sad or depressed or, and they're unhappy, and even if we change subjects and they start telling me their opinion about fucking anything, World War II, fucking their favorite movie, their favorite song, their opinion's invalid to me. You're, you're unhappy and I'm happy. So I don't want to think very much like you at all. I don't want, really want to adopt any of your thinking. Like you're saying, you've just told me you're depressed and unhappy and sad. Like most of my haters on YouTube will literally openly talk about. That's right, man. It's all about the mindset. It's all about what you want, having clear goals, my guy. You know, some people have different goals in life, my guy. You know, if you want to be happy, you can't be associating with depressed, sad people. You know what I'm saying? And vice versa, you know. Antidepressants are on and they're depression. And then come along and say, he's a bad person. I'm a better person. Yeah. 
I don't want to be like you people. I, that sounds like a terrible existence to have an enemy inside of your own mind. I have plenty of enemies in the world and none of them are inside of me. My enemies. Yes. That's one thing like you struggle with, especially everyone. I'm pretty sure, you know, especially when you're trying to escape the matrix, man, the enemy inside my guy, you know, cause you're trying to change that conditioning in your mind. Like the matrix conditioning, you're trying to battle with that, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be a battle every day until you escape the matrix. You know, you got to fight against your old beliefs which are conditioned by the matrix you know what i'm saying so i get that they're all outside of me so i can see them coming i don't have to fight my own mind i have to fight everything else if you're sitting there in a constant battle against your own mind i don't want to be like you so if i will not adopt thinking of somebody who is sad when i sit and look at all the atheists who are doing all this dumb shit i don't want to adopt their thinking either if i see a bunch of atheists and see they're all fucking godless disgusting creatures i don't want to be an atheist i just look at them and go no, sir, that's not my team. I'm going to change. So you have to also be careful. And that's another thing that's interesting. I think one of the reasons why I've managed to gain, and in fact, all of us, the reason we've had such large influences online is because people look at us and understand, you know, I could live his life. In fact, I want his life to a degree, right? It's not just what we say. It's the aspirational aspect of the lives we live. And a lot That's all true, my guy. You know what I'm saying? That's true. But in saying that people want to live a life like you, there's also a price and that price is pain and not everyone wants to pay the pain. You know what I'm saying? All these other people, when they're sitting there giving their opinions, running their mouths, I don't want to have anything to do with their existence. And, and you should also, as a man, keep that in mind. When someone's sitting there telling you shit and you look at them and go, I would fucking hate to be you. Like, be polite, let them talk, listen to it, and then, and then fucking blink and cure, cure your brain because you don't need that shit in your mind. Yeah, I mean, it, it, if you can't even control what's in your mind, then you're going to have a really tough time in life because it, it, it's, it's way harder than that. At least that's within your control. There's so many fair variables out there. You can walk outside tomorrow and like get hit by thunder or get run over by a car. It's like you got you to gotta really maximize the things that you can control and have them in check so that you can go ahead and into a world where you have zero control sometimes. I believe that there is a God, and for me personally, I'm God fearing because once again, if you read the Bible, I don't mean to be a Bible thumper here, Revelations talks about what's happening today in the current marketplace and the current world we live in. And that book is pushing the agenda opposite to what the Illuminati is doing. So I personally think it's real because the good book says what's, what's happening now, uh, but that's just my opinion. Did you want me to read? Yeah, that's true, man. I agree with Some that. of these chats, Andrew, or? Uh, I thought there was interesting in there. Guys, if you have a question for us, you can send us up. Yeah, so that's it, man. And, um, yeah, man, I definitely believe in God, my guy, and I agree with what most of what you say, man. I like this guy. He's a very smart, intellectual human being, you know what I'm saying? So if you did enjoy this episode, be sure you subscribe, man, and I'll catch you on the next video, bro. I love you. Peace.